Hi, I'm Jaden Smith. And I'm Connor Thompson. We're going to tell you why the STEM courses you take in high school are important. STEM meaning your science, technology, engineering, and math courses. These courses are going to help you out throughout the rest of your life. Any job you're going to get in the future requires STEM courses. Okay, my name is Dick Larson. I'm a pharmacist at the Orville Pharmacy. I've been a pharmacist for 35 years. Born and raised in Orville. I went to Orville High School. Went to college in Washington State. So, have at it. Uh, what classes would you suggest for students today? I would say get a strong background in math and science because it's, no matter what field you're in, I just can't tell you how important a good math background is because yeah. If, even if, no matter what you're in, if you're in accounting, you're going to have to take some math. Science, interesting. Uh, I always like science classes and math classes because th there's no objectivity. The answer is the answer. Hi, my name is Kimber Grunst. I'm in the 12th grade. If you want to get into the health industry or even just know more about the life cycle or any of the systems, it's really interesting. And I think that lots of people should take it. My name is Justina Bowles. I'm a physician. I took um, basically all the science classes that there were when I was in high school. Um, chemistry, biology, it must have been physics, I can't really remember, and all of the math classes. Um, and those, you know, I was a chemistry major in college, so obviously those were kind of necessary prerequisites for um, going on in that field. You can't really you, know, you can learn it in college, but it really helps to have been exposed in high school. And I had to be a doctor, you have to take chemistry, physics, and biology, as well as organic chemistry, and all of those, um, you know, so having some basis in any of those sciences is really important. Um, Why do you think math is important? I think math is important because I'm going to have to use it every day of the rest of my life because I'm going to become a doctor. What's your favorite subject in math? I love algebra. Why do you love algebra? I love the feeling that you get inside after you solve this big, long equation. Hey, uh, my name is Quill Hyde, and I'm an artist and engineer. It's all good, but the math and the science, you know, once you know a little bit of math, you, you can do so much with it, and it, and it lets you, uh, even balancing your checkbook, you know, it's like it's easy then because you understand what numbers are and how they work. Technology is changing so fast and it's getting so um, interesting because it can be so complex, so much more complex than it was even 10 and 15 years ago. And that's all because of math and science. It's having math and science in your back pocket is the, is the language of making stuff happen in the universe. I don't know how else to say it. Like if you, if without math and science, you're just guessing. You know, you're just guessing. And, Grasping around, or you know, grabbing around in the dark or something. We are an intro to auto. How is that class relevant to your future? This class is actually going to help us out in the Air Force maintaining vehicles, you know, vehicle operations. We'll be maintaining vehicles, changing oil, changing engine coolant, stuff like that. So do you enjoy this class? Yes, it's very fun. We have a lot of chance to goof off, but we still get our work done. My name is Scott Thompson. I'm a carpenter. I've been one for over 30 years. What classes would you suggest teens today take if they want to go into the carpentry business? I would take geometry, most definitely. You have to understand geometry. Uh, a good carpenter understands it. He knows his formulas. He can apply it. Carpentry is no more, nothing more than applied geometry. And also physics, because to build a house, you have to understand geometry, but to actually build it, you have to understand physics, how to raise a wall, how to, how to rig a crane, how to um, move heavy substance such as concrete safely and efficiently. And you have to understand the physics of that, even though it might, you're not dealing with physical formulas, but you have to understand what you're dealing with and, and how to... Uh, manipulate it. So physics would be very important too. Well, geometry is key to um, carpentry. Everything's angles. 
you know, to be a carpenter, you have to deal with the principles of straight, level, level, plumb, and square. And those are all geometric principles. You know, have to know how to figure out angles for a roof, angles for the front of a deck, um, know how to swing an arc to make circular structures. Um, My name is Helen Casey and I'm the branch manager at Sterling Savings Bank here in Oroville. Mm -hmm. And um, this is my 40th year in banking. The reason I'm in banking is because it's um, a great place to assist people. Um, I'm a people person. I like to be able to help um, find a solution to a problem or you know, get them on the right goal for their financial endeavors. What classes did you take in high school? that you feel really helped you in college and then now in this career? Okay, I took um, English and math classes. Um, we didn't, when I was going to high school, we didn't have a lot of business related things, but we did have accounting and, and that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what do we do now? Send them back. And, and that's a, uh, that's a return. return. So you may not have a choice in the matter, right? How often do these things occur? Not very often. And what's our job? Our job is to go to the people in the packing department and go, oh, you quit screwing up? So we don't look bad in accounting, right? To make sure that that doesn't happen again. And so because it doesn't happen often, these are lumped into one account called? Purchase returns and allowances. Sales. Sales. Yeah, that one. Sales returns and allowances. Okay, what kind of balance does it have? Um, a debit. How come? It's contrary to, to sales. And sales has a credit. Plus. Yeah. So what's the first thing we do? Now remember, you've got more than one way to do it, but he did it by going to Slope Intercept. See what's going on, guys? You have all the routine. You've got the system. I mean, but you know the protocol. 